Hey guys, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with a reading. Today we're going to do a reading, and this is going to be the Mystical Messages of the Oracle. And I have your cards here. If you can see uh, the table here, uh, we have full of... These are all messages, right? And uh, we have one tarot card here, and the remainder are Oracle cards. All right. So, you know, for whoever this reading is for, it's a very beautiful reading. It is. And... Uh, I feel like we have somebody who has basically learned uh, and whoever has learned here, maybe it's two people, but whoever has learned here is seeking love and forgiveness, I believe. But I feel like this is a major expansion in somebody's life that they want to fulfill. We have this, uh, the peach card here, and this is fulfillment, right? Uh, not the peach. Well, it is a peach, right? And the moon is in the back. And so... Uh, it's a beautiful peach, and this is fulfillment, right? A sweet fulfillment, I believe. We also have this card of the wonders. This, so this is something like, something really beautiful. When we see anything that is like compared to or seen as a wonder, right? Like, wow, this is, you know, this is happening for me, or this is what I always wanted, just something like that. I feel like somebody here could be, uh, with all the beauty in this reading, somebody might be like leaving a situation. I have to say that because we have this card here, the pale. Time to get out of a situation. Mm -hmm. And then we have, uh, we also have a friendship here with somebody here. Uh, maybe somebody is seeking, seeking advice from that person. Could be, uh, but it says somebody is deep friends with somebody here. Maybe they are, as I said, uh, seeking advice about the situation. Maybe this is a friendship between, you know, uh, two men or two women. Uh, this romance could be, uh, this talks about a deep friendship. But we have the rainbow card and the most difficult part is over of a situation. Somebody here is at the moment is like right near the moment to come forward. We have the moment and the edge. And we have this card of perception where the woman, you know, the beautiful young woman, she's got a, a butterfly above her head. And she's looking at this giant crystal and she sees like what she needs to see, like the answer, the perception, right? Right? So she understands what she's looking at here. We also have the truth, and then we have the vision over here. And when I see this card, the vision, this is somebody's vision to expand. This is like their great calling. This relationship that somebody wants, which could be a returning to somebody because it is so very deep. <clears throat> somebody here has also experienced heartache and loss. They have. We have the Six of Swords here. Uh, actually, this is the Three of Swords. I beg your pardon, but it's called Heartache and Loss. So this is uh, kind of an Oracle and a Tarot card here. It's possible here that somebody is maybe uh, coming out of another situation. It's possible leaving another situation because the pale is here. Time to get out of a situation. And then we have... Uh, this tarot card here from the Lover's Path deck, and this is Arthur and Guinevere. And this is uh, the same as this is their, their emperor is this version. And Guinevere is sitting here with King Arthur, and she's married to him, and she doesn't love him. She doesn't want to be with him. He has forced her. Somebody might have thought that they were kind of being held maybe in a, in a relationship, maybe because of family. We have the family card right here. And the four kids are here, playing happily and sweetly. It's possible somebody thinks that they are uh, returning or they want to. There has to be an acceptance and a forgiveness in this reading for that to take place. But somebody could be at, like, right near the moment of, like, coming forward. It could be. Mm-hmm. So we have this card over here, uh, and this could be, I feel like, I think, I feel like this is the Hermit. This is uh, the Law of Attraction deck. Let's have a look at that uh, and see what they have to say about their version of the Hermit. It is, maybe you're dealing with a Virgo here, right? There could be, somebody could definitely. And uh, what they have to say about this 
hermit is concentration. Focus, and because he's showing up here like as Gandhi, or somebody who is definitely in meditation. Concentration, focus all possible attention, energy, and concentration on your dream. In this way you will be able to encompass its constructive vibration in yours. And over here we have this card that says, keep your unwavering thoughts, feelings, and actions focused on your target. Focused intention. So this reading is like about somebody who wants to come forward and they might not have a terrible amount of courage, but they're still coming. They could be advised to stay focused with this vision right here. Enjoy the mystery is above it. So somebody definitely is, I feel like returning to somebody, but it is a mystery to them. And it's a mystery to them because I feel like they don't know if they will be forgiven or maybe if somebody is still uh, interested. The sky bridge is here, you guys. This is possibility for union. Yeah, this is a really beautiful card. Mm-hmm. And we have inspiration here with the joyful muse. Uh, the little cat this is really funny because, you know, he has this palette and his paintbrush and his violin over here. He goes, I'm going to have fun here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do something that brings me joy and something that inspires me, right? Puts me into spirit. And whoever this is who's coming back to love somebody, I believe, is very inspired by this person. They find joy with that person. Mm -hmm. I feel like they appreciate that person right here. We have gratitude and appreciation, and the little girl here is petting the unicorn. Like, wow, and the rainbow is here. Like, wow, I'm so glad you're a part of this universe. And I feel like the unicorn is uh, appreciative of the little girl. We also have this card of the snake where somebody, and this other card, the golden mirror, where somebody could be self-absorbed, one-sided. Maybe they were love-bombing somebody. I feel like this is of the past, and this is why somebody wants... Forgiveness. Yeah, I, th I feel like somebody does here. We have the goblins here, and it talks about somebody who could be in fear. And fear is just an illusion. In other words, there's a lot of uh, nudging cards in this reading, like go for it, focus, have focused intention, leave the fear out. We have this other card here, clear the past and heal the present, rejuvenating rain. Surrendering to the, to the journey. Release control. Somebody is like fearful. I feel like it's a person who's probably coming forward to return to somebody. And return with their heart open and their heart full. Yeah. We have the truth here and the perception card is above it. I feel like somebody had an awakening that, that they love somebody and that they want to return to them. And this truth could be like music to somebody's ear, ears, because this woman is playing the harp. This morning glories card is right here, and this is about a potential union blossoming. And we also have the sky bridge, which talks about, uh, which can talk about a possibility for union. Mm-hmm. Yep. Let's see what else we have. We also have this card over here, uh, the Ten of Hearts. It's in the reverse. So this is like the home, and the, uh, I believe this is the room where everybody got together, right, uh, in these in these Appalachian uh, mountains and these people uh, that were, you know, uh, the na like the uh, part of the Apple. They call them, I feel like they call them the, the Appalachia, the people from... Uh, from Appalachia. These people here were, uh, they were often poor and they lived in these, sometimes they live in a, a, a one-room house, like with a bathroom separate maybe, and it depends, it depends. But some of them, they all gathered here in this room here where the fire was because it was cold. Yeah. 
Or if they didn't live in a one room, they all went to the front room where the fireplace was. So this is a card of people gathering together, uh, but this one's in the reverse. Let's see what it has to say here about the Ten of Hearts in the reverse. This is just called the fireplace. Reverse, it is just that, it is just that, happy times ruined, OMG. This usually shows when fights occur in families that have spent too much time together or there is an upheaval in the home between lovers. Yeah, somebody here could be uh, actually walking away from somebody for another lover. It could be. Because that was the story of Guinevere and Arthur too. She wanted to be married to Sir Lancelot. I feel like that was his brother. But he was the king and he took Guinevere from Sir Lancelot. So she was married to the man she really didn't love. She wanted to leave him. In those days, she couldn't go anywhere. But this could be, you know, we also have this card here, fragmented energy. We have family. I feel like somebody could have a family. They could be, somebody could have a family here, definitely. We have healing grief next to the fragmented energy card. Somebody's healing from some major grief. I also feel like somebody is fighting for love here. We have this card, She Who Battles, Justice, Fierce, and Commitment. Somebody's fighting for something that I feel like in the past they never fought for. They could be protecting their own treasure now. They could be seeing this as a treasure. In the past, I feel like they, they saw this maybe as just a game with somebody. And this snake card can talk about the other woman. Somebody could have had the other woman... And, and like mistreated that person because they were already married or already in union. But I feel like now the tables have turned and this person wants to return to somebody. I feel like somebody wants to return to the other woman. I feel like that's the case. We have the card here, Compromise, Courage, and the Fool. Somebody is, there's going to be a compromise here. Somebody has the courage here to be the fool. To go forward and enjoy this mystery. Here we have Einstein here. He's looking at the cat like the cat is, you know, a major mystery. We have the card of challenges right here. So there's major challenges here. Uh, we also have karma. We do, and this is from the Chinese uh, fortune-telling cards. We're going to have uh, a look here. I feel like they have a little bit of a different take on karma, right? We also have the card of prey. Somebody's watching somebody here. Maybe to see if they are attached to somebody else. Whoever wants to return to somebody, I feel like they are watching that person. <laughs> and whoever is coming back is coming honest. We have the card of honesty right here. This Truth Be Told card is right here. And here is the owl opening the gates. All the hearts are fluttering. And here he is standing over the mask. Somebody is taking off the mask, opening their heart, and telling somebody that they love them. Yeah, the mask is coming off in this situation. And we see here the Pleasure Seekers card. This card talks about, like, these young uh, students here, these college kids, you know, they, they have gone out here, and they're in the street, like, singing. They're like, wow, we finally got out. This is somebody who is seeking pleasure because they have pleasure and joy. They're inspired by this other person, the joyful muse. Mm -hmm. we have the haughtiness card here somebody could have been a little arrogant in the past for sure this can be about money somebody could be coming maybe with a lot of money and we have the card right here the size s-i-g-h-s you guys not what size jeans do you wear and no we're talking about somebody here who is sad somebody who thinks that they might become a divorcee and lonely this woman she's dropped the rose here and she's reading some type of paper. It almost looks like a love letter or a letter that somebody has sent her. 
to say goodbye, possibly. We have gratitude up here, and we have gratitude down here somewhere. I don't, I, I can't, gratitude and appreciation, here it is. And we have gratitude right here next to the perception card. Somebody appreciates what they have never appreciated in the past. I feel like somebody had to be away from somebody to kind of understand. I also feel like somebody has grown major, leaps and bounds. Maybe through suffering they have learned. This is how we learn. We never learn through joy and, wow, everything's great. I got my new, uh, my two, my new 10 speed bike and, uh, you know, I'm, I'm going to go meet, uh, my, my three cousins and we're going to build a fort today. Yeah. We're going to the mountain to build the fort. This is joy, but we learn from pain. This is how it is. Audra Lord is here. She's very angry. She feels like she never got her justice. She feels like uh, she could feel like somebody lied to her. She didn't think things were fair, opportunities back in the day. So she's taking matters into her own hands. Somebody feels, who somebody who is being left behind, I believe, for possibly another partner, is very angry. She's, Audra Lord has sacrificed... These little animals here, they're floating around in this lake. Yeah, somebody's real mad here. And maybe whoever is mad, I feel like it's the other, I feel like it's somebody who's being left behind. I feel like they feel fooled too. But I don't feel like this is so much about, uh, like the gist of this, you know, the positive side and what this really is about is that somebody is coming forward with love and a major awakening. We have milk and honey here. And where, you know, we have the rainbow in the back, and these people look like they have this uh, picnic table near the beach, and uh, the elephant is laying in that milk and the honey. It's uh, very sweet for him. This is about everything coming, coming together very sweetly and beautifully. And it's here over the wonders card. This before, I believe, was either a threat or a conflict to somebody. Maybe the person who is being returned to, because there's some type of guilt here, and now this new, this new appreciation for somebody. Somebody, and I also feel like this talks about a secret right here, the mushrooms. I feel like somebody was a secret. Or overnight growth. Like over time, somebody's love could have grown. And the wolf is here. This talks about uh, expanding. Like answering to the great to the great call, like this is my opportunity in life in love. Somebody feels like somebody in their life is like their their the love of their life, like the major opportunity for them in their life. And whoever is doing this knows that like whoever they love, that person will not come around over and over again. Or you don't have like. You have you get a couple chances in life to really be with somebody you really want to be with. That's about it. Maybe three. But I don't really see anybody ever having like four chances to be with somebody that is really important to them. I would say it's more like one or two, but for some, maybe three. The high priestess is here with intuition and sacred knowledge. Maybe there's a Piscean here as well. Scorpio. And we also have this card about co-creating and being diplomatic. Somebody wants to come back and, and make sure I believe that the communication is very like with diplomacy. Like be nice and be sweet and explain yourself. Because I feel like somebody's coming back to explain. I also feel like, and to tell a secret, like truth be told, like I love you. I'm letting these hearts flutter out of this box my mask is down here. I'm stepping on it. Like, I don't need my mask. I'm not being fake anymore. I'm not being fake with myself. And now I need to tell you how much I love you. We have this card, She Who Thrives, Flourishing, Prospering, and Blossoming. For me, this is going to blossom, like, really beautifully. The focus card is here a couple times. 
And we have the Journey and the Caring Connections card here. Let's look at these two cards before we wrap up the reading. We have this man here, and uh, this talks about memories, I believe, or reflecting, reflecting on the mistakes that somebody has made, and that's what somebody's doing here. Somebody knows here they made a lot of mistakes. They were, like, selfish, maybe gaslighting somebody. That's what this man is doing. He knows he made mistakes in the past. And he's reflecting on what he can do better now, today. We also have this other card here. The lady has the key, right? She has the key, and the book is here. Let's have a look at that. I feel like this has to do maybe with secrets. But she has the key to something here. So let's see what that is all about here with this brand new deck here. Secrecy and confid confidentiality. This is a secret relationship because I feel like it is a third party relationship that is coming together. Maybe it's two people who were together in the past and somebody maybe went to go be with somebody else. Because somebody is grieving something here. We have healing grief. We have grief twice. The family card is here. Like they're grieving a family. We have the well card over here. Somebody wants to replenish the well. So this talks about the clandestine world, which is the underground world, right? And this card talks about creating trust with somebody. Somebody wants to create trust with you where there was no trust before. The heartache and loss card is here. And let's have a look at this work card over here next to Enjoy the Mystery. Let's see what we can, uh, let's see what it says here about that. Mm -hmm. And this is Enjoy your successes and your projects. Maintain interest in your work, however humble. It is what you really possess in the changing fates of time. I feel like all this means is uh, somebody here had somebody here and they didn't appreciate them. This talks about appreciating your work, but somebody didn't appreciate somebody that they really, really love. And also, this person, I feel like whoever is coming forward has suffered. I mean big time. Because I feel like they have suffered because they have probably, probably are leaving a family or have left behind a family doesn't mean they're not going to pay for their kids. It, uh, we're not, this is not about that. That's another show. I feel like somebody suffered here because I, f I also feel like they suffered because they may have chose kind of the wrong person. They could have hurt the person they chose. Now they want to go back to somebody that they didn't appreciate before. There's major learning in this reading. Major. We have the rhino spirit here. And this is overcome any obstacle. And I feel like that's what's happening here. Mm -hmm. And we see over here that this woman steps out of the cracked egg. This is the metamorphosis card. She's stepping out of a cracked egg and uh, it's already broken. There's already something wrong with it. This person, I feel like, is coming from a relationship that has maybe cracked or had some problems right? So here she is stepping out of the cracked egg, and she's stepping out naked, and the snow is here. It's almost like somebody need, knows that it's time to go. And that's what that card is really about. It talks about knowing that something is a little bit broken, or something is not right, and it's time to uh, create a major change. This could have took a lot of courage to do this, because the woman is stepping out in the snow, and she's naked. We have this card as well, and this card is talking about uh, insight. Somebody is trusting their divine feminine energy. This is the mother. This is based on Cancerian energy. Cancer is the mother. It doesn't have to be a Cancerian person here. It talks about somebody trusting their insights, trusting their divine feminine energy. Mm 
Mm -hmm. Let's have a look here what it says about this karma card. Yeah, let's see what it says about the karma card. <coughs> Hmm. <clears throat> well, I don't see that little book here. So we know karma, you guys, talk, always talks about things that can come back to you, right? Whatever you do in this world, and they're actually showing somebody's face here, right? Uh, and it has like the flowers to the right of it. But karma is kind of like what you create in this world, right? And if you so if you do if you do well, you will it'll come back to you tenfold, right? Or if you treat people well. In this reading, somebody could be uh like also kind of worried about their karma. I feel like somebody is. I feel like somebody wants somebody else to really trust them with this card here talking about confidentiality and secrets and I just feel like it's not so much about secrets but about confidentiality almost like somebody wants somebody to kind of trust them with their feelings and with the fact that they have learned right here this man here this talks about somebody who has done some major reflections about their mistakes about their successes and just learning. So we're going to end this reading. Somebody is coming forward because we have the card of the edge, the moment, and the well. And these are all, you know, right here. Somebody's uh, right near the edge, very close to coming forward. This person, maybe they are trying to heal a little bit before they come because somebody is really, really. Uh, Somebody has suffered here. This is a really beautiful reading in as much as there are so many emotions here. So many kind of conditions of the human condition. Right? We have somebody learning. We have somebody with sorrow or like understanding what they have done in the past. Somebody who has suffered. Somebody who has gratitude and courage. Somebody who is inspired by somebody. Somebody who realizes that what they left behind was really what they wanted all along. Somebody who has learned, I also believe that honesty is the best policy. I feel like somebody has kind of suffered with lies. And I do feel like that person, whoever has lied, didn't really realize how much they were going to hurt somebody. I feel like that's, that, has, that is in this reading as well. Mm -hmm. I feel like whoever is coming forward here, this is, uh, is going to be something solid. And this will be fulfillment. This is a beautiful card here, right? The peach is ready. It's ripe. And this is the right time for, <coughs> for somebody to come. <coughs> whoever this is. Remember who, whoever is coming here, I believe. Or somebody within these. I feel like there's three people here who's really experiencing heartache and loss. And I feel like it's this person who is leaving probably behind a family here. To return to what I feel like is the love of their life. Maybe to create a family too. But I feel like the person who somebody could have been left behind here. That person probably has major heartache. And you, whoever somebody is, whoever is being returned to. I feel like has experienced heartache as well. Because somebody feels terrible for, I feel like, gaslighting, narcissistic uh, behavior, etc, etc. And lastly, we have this card of the peace right where the bird here he's, got, he's uh you know he's carrying the flower here he's carrying the little kind of like the olive branch and here he is and he's very very peaceful here and the rainbow the most difficult part of the situation is over we have two rainbows in this reading too right down here and right up here 
I feel like everything is going to be okay between, between, between somebody. I also feel like somebody had to really suffer here to understand, to learn, to learn that, you know, to learn that you can really harm people in this world if you don't really, if you're just always kind of screwing around or just you're reckless. Maybe they didn't mean possibly to be reckless, but somebody's been really reckless here. And so I feel like uh, a few people here have suffered. I feel like everybody here has suffered. These three people that I believe that are showing up in this reading. But I believe that this uh, suffering is going to bring in joy. At least for two people, for sure, right? It's going to bring in joy. It's a little bit tragic here, but uh, the beauty in this reading, though, is that somebody uh, really has uh, grown into, I feel like, a good person. Yeah. Thank you so much, you guys, for joining me here. God bless you guys. Happy New Year, and please remember to like, share, and subscribe.